All right. Welcome back. Uh, more VR news that interests me. There's quite a bit going on, and uh, I'm really having fun finding a lot of these like fringe things that people aren't talking about. But I can't tell you how many times in my life that I've seen like a new technology come around, something fun, something possibly innovative, and they pitch voice commands. And while voice commands uh, can be very useful, I do like being at the gym and being able to have my AirPod uh, Pros in and say, you know, stop this, stop that, or change song. It's, it is useful. Um, but there's always a degree when voice commands come that I just go like someone's gonna look at me like I'm an idiot Like I'm gonna be standing over there, and I'm gonna be like hey Somebody do this for me or this or that and someone looks at you like hey Can I what you say to me and then they realize you're on a Bluetooth device and I always found them just to be kind of Like that's a friction point and not a good friction point, right? And snap just made a recent move that it looks like they're playing a really long game they're the first of this that I've seen, and I think it's super interesting. Uh, but Snap, for those who don't know, do have their own AR glasses. I don't really know what to consider them. I haven't used them. But they have these Snap spectacles. And from people that I know who have these, they swear by them. They swear that these are the best smart glasses out there for your needs, basically. And looking at their website and looking at demos out there online, I'd have to generally agree they don't have much competition. You do have the Meta Ray-Ban smart glasses, if you consider them smart. I do have those. I actually returned them, so I had them and returned them because I wasn't really using them. I found them kind of lackluster, and the recording options they had just weren't that good. So I did return them, but Snap Spectacles are pretty good. Well, they did just recently, uh, today at the time of filming this, tomorrow at the time you're viewing it, uh, purchased NextMind. For those who don't know what NextMind is, I actually have had the pleasure of using their developer prototype. I have it here and uh, did make a small video on it as well. But NextMind is a BCI, a brain computing interface device, although it does just go on the back of your head. You basically clip this to, say, a hat. That's what I did and put it on. And uh, this developer kit had some rudimentary, basically, um, apps that you could use with it such as a uh, fake television kind of guide setup where you could change channels change the volume look through the guide just by thinking they had a rudimentary game where you could uh, move platforms or move different fences and different devices all around it, it's basically you look at a picture you focus on areas that you know you can interact with and by focusing on them with your eyes and basically eye contact this device is reading those signals sending it to the computer and enacting those movements. So it's basically playing games with your brain, a non-invasive way of using a BCI, unlike say Elon Musk in the Neuralink, uh, which is fully invasive, uh, basically putting something in your brain to uh, connect with. So that's interesting. But uh, this is an interesting move. Snap blatantly here is playing the long game. I did see this first reported on over on The Verge by Alex Heath, where Snap buys brain computer interface startup for future AR glasses next mind. Now, Snap's purchase of next mind is the latest in a string of AR hardware related deals, including its biggest ever acquisition of the AR display maker Wave Optics last year for $500 million. In January, it also bought another display tech company called Compound Photonics. Now, next mind's first product, it was what we talked about, a $400 headband developer kit. It came out about two years ago, but it will be disbanded. Uh, the company's roughly 20 employees will remain in France and work for Snap Lab, the hardware group responsible for spectacles, a forthcoming camera drone, and other unreleased gadgets. A Snap spokesperson refused to say how much the company was paying for NextMind. Uh, we do need to keep in mind the startup, that being NextMind, it raised about $4.5 million in funding to date and was last valued at roughly $13 million, according to PitchBook. Meta, Apple, and a slew of other tech companies, they are all building, like we've talked about, augmented reality glasses with displays that place computing on the world around you, which is the most interesting concept for all this. And I think it's really smart of Snap to be looking so forward forward focus basically now snap admit that this is something in their deep long plan they're not sure how this will play out but i think it's really smart like i've said just a bunch of times to have smart glasses on my face and then needing to either touch them in one way or another volumes hard holds for power buttons voice commands for things like recording and taking picture while i think they're super useful at times uh, like i said they're a friction point that i just personally don't want to do in public but to be able to have uh these glasses on and to be able to possibly think or look at objects. So say I have a piece of paper in front of me or a book or a recipe. Let's put recipes in front of me, right? And to be able to just look at it possibly and then have 
what pops up be what I need to possibly look at the directions and then a video will pop up because I looked at them long enough and focused on it. Something like that I just think is really interesting and I'm interested to see how it plays out. Uh, when it comes to the device like Nextmind, while well, I used it and it did work, uh, it was definitely temperamental. Uh, it was not super easy to calibrate and I actually did have to contact the devs quite a bit of times to get it to work, but it is a developer kit, so I do admit that. Uh, but that's really where we are with Nextmind and Snap right now. This is a recent purchase, and we'll see how it plays out over time if any more info comes out. But I thought it was super cool and just wanted to share it with you. Uh, for those who are still here, have you ever used a BCI device? Have you ever done anything where you can think and it just happens on screen? I'd be interested if you did use Nextmind or something similar because I was blown away the first time I used it and to this day I still think about it. Uh, especially the TV one, like to be able to sit down and just like control my TV with my brain is super interesting. But that's where we are. I'll end the video. I'm rambling. See you next time, Space Cowboys. Peace.